I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam in the booth. And on course, we've got John McCarthy. Thanks, Luke. So pleased to be here at the Drew Mariah Club today. And what a way to start your day with this long par four, staring deep into the downtown area. Oh, my goodness. Can't wait to see what happens here today. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. Four victories so far this season. Looks to be going with the six iron. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. This putt coming up is for birdie. Just didn't drop. This is a par putt. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. He's in a share of seventh place. at the second tee. That's not the outcome they were after. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. That's well hold. I tell you what, there's been some great golf being played all over the course. Let's have a look at this. Always enjoy watching Ian pull to play well. Here's a great shot. Simply amazing what he does from here. Oh, that's a cracking good shot, as they say over there in UK. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Second shot here on the third. Where did that come from? That's not his style. Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Oh, 
It's up, it could be in. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And this effort by Justin Thomas. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Ooh. Are you kidding me? Oh, beautiful little pitch shot down the hill. Thank you. Gets it to go. Great shot. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. That should find the cut stuff. Yeah. Sitting at one under the card. Currently tied for sixth. Left yourself an opportunity. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. This putt for inside the top five on the leaderboard. And that putt just was never hit hard enough. I hate to use the word choke, Luke. But that's exactly what happened there. A flat out choke. Currently one under for the event. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Ah, looks like this one's contracted the dreaded hooks. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Well, down on the sixth hole, this is Ian Poulter's next shot. And this putt's for birdie. Well, that looked good for a long way. Nicknamed the postman because he always seems to deliver in the Ryder Cup, Rich. Ian Poulter, a great character, a fantastic player, and a fierce, fierce competitor. Ian Poulter has made a career out of demoralizing the Americans in the Ryder Cup, Luke. There's no doubt about that. But let's face it, there's hardly a player out there who gets the most out of his game. He's even acknowledged it. He may not have the most talent, but I can promise you this. There's very few players that are willing to work at it as hard as he is. He will sacrifice an awful lot, albeit no time away from his family. He will sacrifice every minute of the day if he thinks that it will make him a better player tomorrow. He really is a workhorse on the PGA Tour, and hats off to him. He's getting his just desserts now with all the success he's had over the last few years. Just two shots back after that hole. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. Well played, mate. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Choosing the nine iron here. Oh, well played. Oh, this would be a good putt to make, and with it, a share of third spot. Get excited. This could go in. Well done. Take the birdie. 
And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. He's in a share of third place. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Let's take a look at Justin Thomas from earlier. This is how you do it, seven days a week. Yes! Second shot here on the seventh. Oh, looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. Well, that's a pretty good play there, Rich. Right up near the surface. Getting ready to play their third. Only one shot off the pace. Just six feet between here and the hole. Looks good off the blade. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Well, that's beautifully judged. And this putt for a sheer of the lead. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And that will take him to four under. And stepping up the standings after that effort. You've arrived at a par four. Looks like that ball had a magnet in it for the bunker. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Oh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of ball in the sand here, guys. Let's see how they deal with this one. Oh, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. Go in. Terrific shot, almost an eagle. And back to the course with the live action. Sitting at minus four, currently tied for first place. <laughs> yeah, lovely opportunity to save par here. Hold it. That's very gutsy. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee, great recovery. Well, a lovely position for this player, Rich. Tied for the lead as they make the turn. Yeah, exciting position, isn't it? You'd rather have the lead on your own, but listen, tied for the lead, pretty good spot to be in. They're going to have to work to earn this victory. It's time to begin this powerful hole. 
Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? Well, it might be an ambitious play, but I like it. Looks like they're going for the green here. And this effort by Justin Thomas. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, my. Oh, what a shot from the bunker. Here we are, Rich, a wonderful opportunity on the table. The chance to go back to back. Just how big would that be? Obviously massive, but I'm very impressed. They've put themselves in a position to win for the second week in a row. Impressive. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. It's got a chance. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will take him to five under. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Teeing off here at the 11th. <laughs> Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. <laughs> Going with the six iron here. Oh my, right by the hole. A wonderful shot. A chance for Bernie here on the 11th. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. Nice stroke. D is making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And that will take him to six under. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. That should find the fairway. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Lovely effort, that. John, have you got a read on this one? This putt's about 23 feet, guys. Looking really good, this one. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And that will take him to seven under. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. Give us an update. What's shaking? I'm down on the 13th hole, following Ian Poulter. Oh, what a shot. Mark it down as an eagle. What can you say? Holding out from a fairway bunker, simply remarkable. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage.
have a par five on this one. That's heading for the fairway. Second shot here on their 13th hole. It might be ambitious to some, but they're going for the green. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Playing their fifth shot. Wow, that shot goes down, and that will be for birdie. Tough bunker shot, no bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. Getting ready to play their third. Trying to get to eight under par with this putt. This one has eyes for the hole. And that's eight birdies today. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Currently in first position. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. Oh, this would be handy if it could bounce right. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. Yeah, good mid-range putt this one. Right on 17 feet. This is a good chance. And that's for birdie. Well hold. Leading by six strokes after that one. Well, I love these holes. The short par four. Do you be bold or lay up? Well, let's see if they can roll off that boot at the last. Lovely momentum here. Ooh, staying aggressive. Going for the green. And now we go to the 18th, and this happened just a moment ago. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland from earlier. Let's recap his fourth shot. And into the hole it goes. OK, let's get back to the action. Just missed the hole. Well, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. Woo, that is some pretty good breathing room. Out in front by a bunch. Currently 10 under for the round. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. 
Let's see if they can deliver another one. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Well, you're a ball striker. There's no doubt about that. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. Not a bad line, this. And that will drop in for birdie. Still in the lead now after that hole. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. What kind of rhythm is that? It must be tough falling out of bed every day with a rhythm like that. And this effort by Justin Thomas. This would be a great up and down. Ooh. Oh, Rich, that's the special stuff. Check this out. Holding it out from the fairway. That away. Great shot. Let's return to live play now. Well, Rich, this won't come as a big surprise, will it? Because there's a lot of people talking about this player. They've been performing beautifully all season. And many think they can win this event. Without a doubt, the best player all around on tour, in my mind's eye. It is no shock to see them contending for the lead once again. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Currently 12 under for the round. And a chance to ice the tournament here. Holding the lead, playing the last. That swing's so pure, it reminds me of Adam Scott's. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. Man, people usually don't go that far on vacation. What a drive. And here we are with the third shot. has been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. All right, let's keep the focus here. This is to win the event. And that's going to do it. Holds the putt for victory. Well played. Absolutely. All tournament long, they just played outstanding golf. Hats off to them. And let's have another look at that one. And Rich, I think you mentioned earlier that this player was your favorite. Well picked. Listen, I, it's not a hard pick, is it? This player has consistently been there all season long. There's no reason why not to pick them to win. They just make me look smart. That's about it. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby and Rich B, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.